There is this trend where non-diabetic patients will monitor their blood sugar. Often that will lead them to a low-carb, keto-style diet. Why do doctors like me not recommend that? I'll try to explain that to you in this video. For a person is diabetic, sure, reducing the glycemic index and glycemic load of food in order to get lower sugar levels makes a lot of sense. But does that make sense for non-diabetics? I don't think so. You see, because low-carb, like vegan, carnivore, keto, paleo, it's a restrictive diet. And the problem with restrictive diets is that the restrictions are generally too extensive. You might be restricting something which you should restrict. In the case of carbs, yes, you're restricting your pastries, cookies, croissants, donuts. Makes a lot of sense. That's junk food. But does it make sense to restrict fruits and vegetables, lentils and legumes, soy products? It doesn't. Because these can be really good sources of fiber, micronutrients, minerals, vitamins, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory agents. They have anti-cancer properties, anti-inflammatory properties. You could survive on a very low carb, less than 50 grams a day diet, but you wouldn't thrive on it. And in fact, many carnivore influencers have come to that realization already and they have now introduced fruits and vegetables into their diets. If we're trying to lose weight, there is absolutely nothing better you can eat than fruits and vegetables. High fiber, high volume, low calorie density, nutrient packed. And so the problem with this kind of sugar phobia is that while you might well be restricting many foods which you probably should, you'll also end up restricting many foods which you shouldn't. And that's true for all restrictive diets. You see, ultimately sugar is your body's preferred source of energy. Many people who are worried about their sugar spikes or carb intake probably need to focus more on utilizing the sugar than restricting the sugar. They need to build muscle because muscle stores sugar as glycogen, so that's a sink of sugar. And they need to be more active so they can burn more sugar, increase their step counts, increase cardio.